Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Granny Joe Show. Today we're doing something a little bit different uh, from my other videos. Uh, I commonly joke on this channel that uh, I like to leave The Sims 4 on uh, while I go and go out to eat or go take a shower or go cook or whatever I need to do and come back and The Sims are fine. It's a common thing with The Sims 4 because I feel like it's a little bit too easy. So I thought to myself, it would be really interesting if I tried to leave this game on for 24 hours without my assistance. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, I did a bit here and there, like when you see a menu pop up and you have to put OK, you have to make a choice. I made a choice for that. And then I would reorient the camera that way it's not like, you know, off staring at a tree for hours on in but outside of that I really didn't do a whole lot to uh, manipulate what the sims were doing they kind of did things on their own uh, another thing that I did is I at some point had to choose a career because I thought that like you know go out to work because I thought that would make things a little bit more interesting but it didn't anyway <laughs> so yeah that, that was short-lived but that's why you see them at like the scientist's job at some point so I'll come back to you guys at the end with a checkup of basically how everything ended up um so i'll see you guys soon and i hope you guys like this 24-hour challenge thingy that i did
Oh, now we're at the end of the challenge, and um, as you can tell from watching the entire video, that not a whole lot actually happens uh, when you leave them inactive, which is kind of disappointing? I guess reassuring if you're one of the people who likes very controlled, uh, you know, gameplay for The Sims, but if you're someone like me who kind of likes something interesting to kind of happen, especially for a challenge like this, not so great. So our, our end uh, results are pretty much that the house is a huge mess. As you can see, uh, the lights are off, it's very messy, all of the appliances have been broken. Um, the raccoon, aka Trash Panda, aka Reaper, uh, has died of old age, which was very shocking. I thought for certain that the the uh, pet would die, but I guess that's much harder in this game where for, it's much harder for him to be taken away. Um, so he got sick one time, but that didn't really seem to have a consequence. Uh, I thought that perhaps the sim would die from all of the appliances being broken, but that didn't seem to do much of anything either. Uh, the only friend that she made by herself was animals, which I find relatable, so that's understandable. Uh, but outside of that, not, not much of really anything. I think she got bit by a vampire at some point, but then she didn't turn to a vampire, so it's kind of like, oh, this is kind of disappointing. Anyway, she ended up dying at the end, which you, see, you will see in a moment, of old age. So, uh, yeah, that, I guess that's, yeah, that's how it ended. I was contemplating maybe doing a different kind of death if she didn't die before the 24 hours. Um, but she did die of old age. Um, this is because I had the short, the like the age span on short because I forgot to change it. Uh, so yeah, um, I might do this again with The Sims 3 because you cannot do this with The Sims 3. Trust me, I have tried. Uh, I just like walked away for a moment to take a bath or something. I came back and everything was a disaster. So I might do this again. Uh, so if you like this. Give it a thumbs up or a comment on what you think. And I'll see you guys next time, probably for The Sims 3. So I'll see you later. Hello guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my game Vacant. It's free right now off of Itch.io and Early Access. I would really love to hear your guys' feedback and comments and all that jazz. The link will be in the description if you want to see more.